criticism against its defenders. I mean, it's not that I want to bring attention to your <laughs> problems, but the, you yourself thought that, you know, that, 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 that this was a, a typo for a defensive <coughs> mechanism against its tractors. Um, and I suppose I want to explain, really as an introduction to it, why I think it needs defending against its defenders. Um, and I, w I would like to start with an exhibition at the V&A in 2006 called Modernism Designing a New World, which was an absolutely blockbusting exhibition. There was a huge amount of press attention, hundreds of thousands of people went there. I mean, it was one of the big, most attended exhibitions the V&A has ever had. And, um, and I think it's very interesting to the, the various responses that elicited. For one, they were overdivided into the enormously hostile or the kind of guiltily positive, I suppose you could say. Um, on the hostile front, there was Simon Jenkins, who wrote a sort of hilarious but sort of accidentally insightful um, piece <laughs> for The Guardian, <laughs> um, in which he called it the most terrifying exhibition you will ever see, which um, suggests he's not been to many exhibitions, but certainly. <laughs> um, he, um, he, he claimed that modernism couldn't be judged by this kind of, you know, this, this 1930s, 1920s version that's being put on there, but by what happened after 1945, by the tower blocks that were built, by the Arndale centres, by the motorways, by the, um, by the cities we live in, essentially. Um, and, um, and his description of modernism as politics by proxy, I think, is actually rather insightful. I think that, 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 that modernism, by, by many people, by the people that I talk about in militant modernism, was considered politics by proxy. It was considered a means to an end. It was considered something useful. And it succeeded or failed according to that. Um, but on the other hand, in the, in, in the defences of the modernist exhibition, which, which were probably the majority, there was a tendency to, to, make, to make a very similar move, to kind of disassociate oneself from post-war modernism to say, oh, well, the tower blocks and council estates and office blocks that were built, they were only an imitation of, you know, the true modernism of the 1920s and 30s, which was a sort of sweetness and light, Mediterranean, kind of light air and openness version of modernism. And, um, and the exhibition by cutting off in 1939 reinforced this. Now, this, of course, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a sanitization, essentially. And I think Simon Jenkins is probably more right and uh, is more correct about modernism because of this than you know, the denizens of the design museum. And um, the, 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 mo the modernism, and the reason why modernism is so controversial in this country is because it's associated with, this, with a particular political moment of, the, of what happened after between 1945 and 1979 of the kind of short-lived compromise between socialism and capitalism. And, 